What's good, champs all around the world? It's your boy Champ Jones once again live with y'all. Well, I ain't live, it's a recorded video, but I'm live in with y'all, you know what I'm trying to say. And today on the Champ Speaks, man, I want to discuss inner city youth and video games. Now, I don't want to talk about today's video games and youth in the sense of, because I don't really know what's going on with them in the sense of how they connect the video games or entertainment, I know them tablets, I guess you could say it's the same thing with the tablets and the laptops and the iPhones or whatever, but I remember growing up as a kid, man, a lot of times, shit, video games saved us, man, like, you know what I'm trying to say, it gave us a safe haven, somewhere to go to one of our boys' house, if they had a video game, or if they had a system that nobody had, or if that was the only system in the neighborhood, that's where we'll go, you know what I'm trying to say, not only... To, to have fun and play the game, but unintentionally, we were keeping ourselves out of trouble. We was off the streets, and we was away from circumstances in which we would have to make a right or wrong decision. With us being in a house, playing the game, we bonded with each other, you know what I'm saying? We have a fun, we probably had a couple of fights, because you know the game, you know how that go amongst your friends. But for the, in the collective of things, it kept us away from immediate danger with the hours that we were on the video game. So if we got five hours in the crib playing the game, that's five hours of less risk to run in danger. You know what I'm trying to say? So um, the thing that I did notice though that a lot of families do or a lot of children do now that I did notice is like the video game addiction is different. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like now between these tablets, these video games and the computers, a lot of children are losing their social skills to, 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 to relate to one another and their social fabric is being slowly deteriorated because all they do, think about it, all you do is looking down or looking at something that we're losing that ability to have eye contact with each other or we can't hold on a long conversation because we're so wanting instant validation or instant entertainment in the palm of our hand at the push of a button. Whereas if we go back 50 odd years or 60 some years, when this technology wasn't around how it is now, we had other ways and means to have a social life, a social adaptability to which we are not sheltered. You see what I'm saying? Because humans, we're meant to be outside. We're not meant to be cluttered. And when you have children that's in the house all day playing video games to an extent, they run the risk of becoming obese. They run the risk of being lazy. They're losing how to be socially engineered or how to talk to other children, you know, the scrapes, the falls, and all of that. And I just feel like we should have some type of line, you know what I'm saying, to say some type of border to where we can explain to these children, I don't mind you playing the game because I see you having fun, it's keep you out of trouble, but at the same time, we don't want them to have the game as an outlet or, or, or you know what I'm trying to say, another way of not wanting to be social with other children. Because they have to learn to deal with these emotions just like we did and our parents did and those before us. So if your child or you own a video game console in your house or a computer or a tablet, try to monetize it to keep the level of it at a minimum so you can still help your child sharpen their social fabrics and their confidence and their self-esteem rather than always want to be entertained or always want to be indulged in something that's going to keep them focused on just one thing and one thing only. So... Personally, I would just say keep it at a minimum. There's nothing wrong with it because on the flip side, it keeps a lot of youth out of trouble. But then again, we don't want them to not know how to communicate with one another in the real world. So speak from the champ, this was about video games in the inner cities and how we could use them to our advantage, but yet we don't want to abuse them to the, po to the point that we're losing how to be in touch with one another. All right, so to the next time, chat with champ. Champ speaks, be easy, man.